What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to use match photo in order to quickly model context buildings in SketchUp. All right, so just a reminder, tonight we've got our next live call in the SketchUp Essentials course. So the SketchUp Essentials course is my step-by-step -step course designed to teach you how to use SketchUp. Um, as a part of that course, not only do you get um, over 14 hours of instructional material, you also have access to our live calls where we get together and you can ask live questions about SketchUp. So if you have any questions about SketchUp, you're stuck on anything, those are a great place to go. Um, I love having those conversations live with students in my course because it really gives us a good way for me to help them out learning how to use SketchUp. So if that is something you're interested in, make sure you check out that call tonight. Um, you can check out the course at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I've got an image of a store that I took right here, and uh, I've masked out the logos on here because I can't figure out the rules for sharing logos or anything like that online. So um, this is just a restaurant that I was walking by, and I took this photo. And what I want to do is I want to model a building like this really quickly, and I just want to use the photo textures on here in order to texture the building. So this is not a detailed model. Match photo is great for using images like this in order to really quickly create images of buildings. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by going to SketchUp and we're going to do a file import and we're just going to go find the photo that we want to import. In this case, it's this item right here. We want to import that as a new matched photo. So we're just going to click on the import button right here. What that's going to do is that's going to bring this image in and it's going to give us the ability to kind of set up a view of this photo. So what we want to do is we want to set our perspective lines up so that they align with this building. And so specifically, this tool helps you set up your building perspective lines so that they're going off towards the vanishing points properly. So when your perspective is set up properly, it's going to be really easy to draw and texture because you've set up the actual perspective of your 3D image to match your photo. And so this is an excellent building for this because um, we've got some really pronounced lines that we can follow along. So now we're gonna do this for the ground right here. And I'm just going to set this somewhere on the base of this masonry. And we're just going to drag this maybe somewhere like here. And we want to do the same thing on the base over here. This one's a little bit trickier because there's no like ground point in here. So we're just going to set this up where we've got maybe a ground point right here. And then we'll just drag this so that it aligns with what could be the ground right here. So now we're pretty well set up. The other thing that I usually like to do is notice how your blue, so notice how your origin is over here. Well, I'm going to start modeling right here. So what I want to do is I want to set this um, so that it's aligned with this point right here. So notice how it's aligned with the vertical of the corner right here. And then the other thing to notice is notice how my model here is really tall. Well, what I want to do is I want to click and drag like this. Well, notice how that's adjusting the scale of my model just like this. And so I can kind of use this door to get kind of an idea of how tall this, this could be. Well, now what I've got is I've got this image that's basically set my perspective lines up inside of SketchUp. And then once you're done with that, you can just click on the done button right here. And so notice what that's done is that's created an image that I can come back to. So if I rotate out of this, notice how I just have a regular SketchUp model. But if I click on this button right here, um, in order to get back to that view, notice how I can get back to that view really quickly. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start modeling. And so what I can do is I can just come in here and I can just start drawing along this face right here. So for example, I want to draw a line like this, it's going to run up to the top of my building. And notice how my perspective lines are set up where this inferences really well right here. So then I can do the same thing over here. So I'm just going to draw a line right here like this. And so notice what that gives me the ability to do is that really gives me the ability to quickly model based on this image right here. So I can model this all the way to the top, for example. And notice how I drew a face in here, but there's a little bit of a recess. So I'm just going to use the push-pull tool to push-pull this face back a little bit like this. And so then over here, I could just draw off of this edge and I can just inference so that this is aligned right here. But again, this is just really easy to do. And so I'm going to do the same thing over here. And we'll just push pull this face back a little bit, just like this. 
All right, so now let's say I was to rotate out of this for a second. You can see how I've got this building kind of generally set up where I can kind of see the different parts and pieces in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and reverse these faces really quick. But this has allowed me to really quickly set this up. And so what's cool about this is now we've got this building kind of roughed out, right? Well, now what I can do is I can come in here and I can actually apply textures from the photo into my actual model. So instead of me coming in here and like modeling out all of this glass and this kind of thing, what I can do instead is I can just select that and in match photo mode right here, notice how there's an option for project textures from photo. And so if I click on that, what that's gonna do is that is going to basically take that image and apply it to any surface I have selected. It's gonna ask if I wanna trim partially visible faces. In this case, we're gonna say no. Well now, if I rotate out of this, notice what this did is this added this as a texture to this surface. So what that means is that means that you can come in here and you can select all of these different surfaces and it's going to apply whatever photo it can see from this view to those surfaces. So again, if I do a project textures from photos, we're gonna say no on trim partially visible. You notice how I have all of the detail in here from this model from the actual photo without me actually having to model it out myself. So this can be a massive time saver because this is a really easy way to add context around your other models without you having to come in here and add a bunch of detail. And let's say for example that you did want a little extra detail in here. All you have to do is just come in here and model out some of the things that you want. So for example, let's say that we wanted to model out um, kind of an overhang like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw an edge right here. We'll draw this all the way across and then we'll jump back into this view. But we'll draw this up a little bit. And draw it across. But you can actually add a little bit of detail like this really quickly. So you could come in here and model out the different uh, parts and pieces that are in here. Like for example, the way the photos go on here isn't super great. So what you could do is you could just apply like a gray material or something like that to the surface and you could get as detailed as you want with this. So you could come in here and you could actually model out like the steel pieces and other things like that. Or you could just really quickly add some of this so that you don't have just kind of like this flat feel in here. All right, and then real quick, we can come in here and we can add the roof. We can really add as much detail or as little detail as we want. But in this case, that's just gonna be as simple as modeling this out. And then a lot of the time what I'll do is I'll actually rotate out of this and just draw a surface over the top like this. So then we can kind of push pull it up to align with this surface. And then really what we could do is we could jump in x-ray mode. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select this surface and then come back. Notice how that surface is still selected. Well, now I can use the offset tool to offset this out and push pull it up. So again, just really easy to do because our perspective is already kind of set up inside of our scene. And then we could just come in here, select these surfaces, and we're just gonna apply the textures from that photo. So this allowed us to quickly create this context model in here without us having to do a whole lot of extra work. So leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you do wanna learn more about how to use SketchUp, I will link to the SketchUp Essentials course on this page, as well as some other tutorials on Match Photo. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.